local weather authority forecast. Well, friends, happy Saturday. The weekend is here. We're excited for it, but also some of us are excited that the rain has stopped. Others want the rain to come back, but look no further. Take speaking of looking, take a look at our Midland sky. I keep saying Midland, but I'm switching up today. I'm doing Odessa instead. So take a look at our Odessa sky cam. Thanks to Rebels family, we're able to see what some action that's going on just outside of our new station. You know, some really clear driving conditions, which is nice because as you do see, those 18 wheels are traveling late at night. So they're going to have some really nice driving conditions for tonight. Until we get into some other areas, and speaking of those areas, taking a look at what we're seeing right now. Currently, we are in our 60s. That rainfall we're starting to see in parts of the West Texas area. Our humidity is sitting at 66%. Our dew point sitting at 55. Those winds are traveling nice and calm, perfect enough for tonight's travel for those 18 wheelers. They're traveling east, southeast, six miles per hour. Now that sunset happened at 8:42 p.m., but with that, we did see you know some rain going on in the area. And here's what we're seeing right now: really the entire state of Texas. Only places we are seeing some rain is in the Alpine area. But as you do see, you know Abilene, Austin, Love. Not too much of that rain going on, just some clouds in the skies. Similar to what we are seeing, you know, here in the West Texas area. Now, here's where we start seeing some rain picking back up. Around 6 in the morning, we're going to see some rain going on in Carlsbad, you know, parts of there. And then you do see Midland and Odessa area, Pecos, Forest Stockton, Alpine, Marfa, just some cloud cover in the morning. And then we get a, cu a cute little gap around 11 a.m., you know, by the time some of us are getting out of church. But then we get into 1 p.m. ready for, you know, afternoon lunch. We do see that rain happening back on, you know, in Marfa and parts of Alpine. That rain is still going to, you know, be in the area. It's actually going to pick on up around 3 p.m. in parts of, you know, Marfa, Alpine, and also parts in Hobbs and a little bit in the Midland and Odessa area. That rain is going to get a little bit more intense, nothing severe, but it is going to be very heavy around 5 p.m. in Midland and Odessa along with in Fort Stockton. So pretty much we get a cute little gap and then that rain is going to be with us all Sunday evening. And then, you know, we get into Monday and then it's going to be nice and chill. Now here's what, you know, our rain driving safety tips because of that rain that we're going to be seeing on and off. Avoid flooded roadways, turn around and don't drown. Drive slowly through those puddles if you have to travel through them. Keyword if so that way you don't end up like this car stuck in the road because last thing you need for a really nice Sunday is to be stuck out there. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast. Here's what it's going to show us. You know, a little bit of that AM rain is going to be in the area. Then we get that cute little break around, you know, a little bit of noon and then it's going to pick on up and then being into Monday. Monday around, you know, the PM hours and then, you know, a little bit of a gap and then some rain once again. Now, you know, rain along with sports, you know, I will say you get a cute little gap for tomorrow yeah. and then a little bit in the week, but then here comes that rain and, you know, with sports, you guys have to get your gear together. Yeah, it's better than last weekend. I was just talking with you. Yeah, way less lightning in the seven day forecast. I, I like the trajectory that we're on and hopefully we're, we're going to be able to have some clear skies because we got a lot of baseball action and softball.